वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11.25 सो स्टेटमेंट इज टेकिंग इन टू अकाउंट ओनली द इफेक्ट ऑफ नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेन एनर्जी ऑफ प्रेसमेटिक बीम ए बी फॉर द लोडिंग शोन सो दिस इज अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम ए बी दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाय यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ओवर द लेंथ एल क्लियर सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द स्ट्रेन एनर्जी ऑफ द प्रेसमेटिक बीम फॉर द लोडिंग शोन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन as we know that uh, total strain energy for bending is equal to integral of m square over 2 ei into dx so for that we need moment as well so we will find the moment equation for this beam uh, our loading shown but before that we know that this is simply supported beam so if we remove the support at point a so definitely there will be a reaction force at point a and if we remove the roller support at point b so there will be a reaction force at point b so first we will find this reaction forces so for that we will apply equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point b is equal to 0 taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so basically you are taking the sum of all moment about point b is equal to 0 so first moment is due to this r a force and perpendicular distance is this l and it is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so first i will write it minus r a into perpendicular distance is l now the second moment that is produced due to this distributed load so this distributed load if converted into concentrated load w into l and that will be acting at a distance of l by 2 from the point b and it is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so plus w into l into l by 2 their their sum must be equal to 0 so from here you will get r a is equal to w l over 2 now you know that uh by using another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and taking upward force is positive so we know that r a plus r b is equal R A plus R B minus W into L because this will be concentrated load. Their sum must be equal to zero. So from here you will get R B is equal to R A minus um, uh, sorry W into L minus R B R A sorry. So W into L minus W L over two will give you. R B and this R B will again same equal to W into L divided by two. Now we have both reaction forces, so we will cut the beam in order to moment to get the moment equation. So we will cut the beam at a distance of x from point A, and I will draw the free body diagram. So let this is the beam clear, and that is this distance is. x and there is a reaction force which is r a and that is acted upon by uniformly distributed load that is w so if you cut the beam so there will be a shear force and there will be a reaction moment as well at this point is point o so what we will do is that we will apply equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point o is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so moment about point o is first due to this r a into perpendicular distance is this x and it is producing clockwise so it will be negative so minus r a into x the other moment that is produced due to this w and this w when multiply with x will be converted into point load and it the distance will be x by 2 from point a and it is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive okay so r a x plus uh 1 over 2 into w 
uh, into x square because this I will show you this is point load which is w into x so 1 over 2 into w x into x so w into x is basically point load and x by 2 is the distance so it will be w x square over 2 and there is external moment m is also there so their sum must be equal to 0 so from here you will get this moment will be equal to um, r a x minus 1 over 2 w x square now you have both the value of r a x so r a x is r a is w l over 2 so it will be w l x over 2 minus 1 over 2 w x square now you can see that you have w over 2 that is common so if you take the common term so you will be only left l x minus x square okay so this is the moment equation and we will use this moment equation in the upper equation of uh, strain energy in order to get the strain energy so we know that strain energy is equal to integral of m square dx over 2 ei and here x start from 0 to l so you can just put the value m is uh, w over 2 into l minus x whole square and we will take the square of this whole term into dx divided by 2 ei and there will be integral from 0 to l and this u will be equal to if we you take the square so this will be w square over 4 multiply by there is 2 ei and we will left only 0 to l l minus x whole square square dx okay further if you simplify it it will be equal to w square over 8 ei integral of 0 to l and if you expand it so you will get uh, this is lx square not lx you can see this is lx so this is lx so if you take the square so it will be l square x square plus x square plus 2 time of lx square x lx cube this is also square uh, let me check this is lx minus x so this there is a square there also so this will be x4 l square plus x4 plus 2 lx into x square which is l cube and we have only uh, we have also um, uh, okay so i have made a mistake kindly rectify it so this there is no square over here there there is no square so if you take the square now it's clear okay so you have to multiply dx with it clear so u will become equal to w square over 8 e i and integral of what if you take the integral of this so it will be equal to l square x cube over 3 plus this will be l5 uh, sorry integral of x5 will be x5 x5 over 5 plus 2l x4 over 4 and limit will be 0 to l again you can see that um, 
you can take l5 as common okay l5 okay now we will put the value of 8 e i so we will put the value of limit so it will be l square into l cube over 3 and other term will be if you replace x with 0 it will be 0 plus l5 over 5 plus 2 l l4 over 4 so it will be equal to w square over 8 e i and this will be l5 over 3 plus l5 over 5 plus 2 it will be equal to l5 over 2 okay so you can take l5 common so it will be w l w square l5 over 8 e i and we will only left with 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 2 okay so when you simplify it you will get the total strain energy will be equal to w square l5 over 240 ei this is a very simply thing you have to take the lcm and you have to repeat the procedure and you will get u is equal to w square l5 over 240 ei so this is the strain energy for the loading shown on prismatic beam i hope you have enjoyed the video and again be careful while you are putting the values because a little uh, mistake will make the whole problem wrong again if you are new to my channel then subscribe it and keep the watch keep watching the videos thank you